Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Uh, and as you can see, um, can't remember what I do here. Uh, what do I do here? Oh, that's right. I think. Uh, uh, uh what am I doing? Oh, that's right. Uh, I'm changing everyone's equipment. Because I'm a weird person, I'm like, nope, the main character has to have the best equipment. And it's like, it's like, best equipment, main character, and then it's like, slowly goes down. So yeah, it's Friday. I was going to go to Dragon Con this weekend, but... Uh, too many people and not enough transportation. Things like that. So I'm not going to that. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. But in this one, I'm changing everyone's stuff. And by stuff, I mean equipment. And we enter the second battle. The second, um, main thing. You know what I mean. The quest. There we go. Now. Well, that's going on. Oh, and first side chocobos in this game. Chocobos are awesome. I love chocobos. But anyway. We get uh, one new companion. Well, technically two. But only one was able to fight. I used only one. Uh, and there's, it was the Bonga. And they evolved from reptiles, and they have powerful bodies covered entirely in scales. Which, as a result, the majority of their jobs lean towards melee fighting. And they do have access to two magical, magic using professions, which are Bishop and Trickster, but they're not as useful as their attack oriented classes. And if you have them, you want to focus on building up units like Master Monk and be sure to learn the Unscarred ability. Now, the jobs that they can get are the Warrior. The White Monk, Dra Dragoon, Defender, Gladiator, Master Monk, Bishop, Templar, Cannoneer, and Trickster. Now, two recommended Bonga jobs are the Master Monk and the Cannoneer. And the second one that I had, the second one that I could have had was the the Moogle, which I love. I love Moogles. And they specialize in using devices such as guns and cannons, as well as clockwork contraptions they've developed themselves. They have many unique jobs that let them borrow the strength of animals, most of which act well as support. Like the Nemoi, they also have... they can't enter water. And their jobs are the Animist, Thief, Black Mage, Moogle Knight, Fusilier, Juggler, Tinkerer, Time Mage, Chocobo Knight, and Flintlock. And two recommended jobs, Fusilier and Tinkerer. And if you can't tell by now, um, I'm reading this out of the walkthrough. So yeah, in this is the first um, fight in which you can actually lose your clan privilege. Which is if you had your black mage fight, uh, use a fire spell. One I hate is um, it's like there's like some missions it's like don't harm females and you only are fighting females. You're like god damn it. But yeah, when you're fighting, attack from the sides or the back if you can. Why? Because you do more damage. Also, if you're like up on a higher ledge, you do more damage too. So if you attacked from behind and you were on, you were higher than them, you do more damage than if you were in front of them and lower, or just in front of them in general. Now you can see I went with an archer, a I think the bonga is a warrior. I think I change him after this. I can't remember. Yeah, I change him after this. Uh, after this fight. A white mage, a black mage, and a fighter. Damn. 
but there's not really much to this battle. And you see me choosing bonus EXP because I want Musa to level up. And so my archer, I have away from all the fighting because he wouldn't do as good, if you know what I mean. But yeah. And Sid is still a guest. So now we are down to just the last enemy. Can't remember what the heck he is. Alright, yep. Yeah. The Bongaz Warrior. Yeah, and I apologize for this being a short episode, but it's a short episode. Um, I recorded this before going to class a few days ago, so yeah, that's why it's not 15 minutes. I tried to make it longer by giving it an opening. Leave in the comments if you like the opening or not. Now you can see if he, if he had attacked head on, he would have done less damage. Goblin Punch. If they were the same level when they when he did that, that would have been a lot stronger. I think this is the only thing I do in this episode besides, um... I know I do something else. Oh crap, what else do I do? I haven't watched this in a few days, so... Uh, I'm actually, while I'm record, well, not while I'm recording this, after I record this audio, I'm going to put the, I'm gonna, I recorded audio from another LP I'm doing, Let's Fail a Pokemon Crystal, which me and my friends are doing. Uh, two episodes, one should be up Saturday and the other should be up uh, Sunday, if all goes according to plan. So, probably not. Yeah, we're almost done with this fight. Um, and it's only... Oh yeah, I choose to be a dick here. With my black mage, like, HURT EVERYONE! Yeah, Luso takes them a lot of damage from that. But, we won. And... It's only during like the main missions that I will have it at normal speed. Yeah, and three of my people leveled up. Woohoo. But uh like I keep saying for the third time. Um if I do like quests like side quests or like any other quest that's like not part of the main storyline. Unless it's like special like Oh, this quest will lead to another quest, and so on. I'll speed through those. And even then, I'll kind of speed through those. Like, I'll have like a little explanation at the beginning of what you do, and then I'll just speed through the rest. But this is where we learn about it, the journal. As you progress through the game doing main storyline missions, um, you'll get more stuff will be added. And also, like every 50 missions, you also get like this little trophy. On my best file, I have about. I have three trophies. I think the max is. I don't know the max. Man, this is a pretty boring episode. I apologize. But... This sets up the plot and all that. Um... Yeah. We have new abilities that are mastered. I think this is... Yeah, all those people mastered stuff, 
Luso mastered some. I'm not gonna tell you because it's not it's not that important right now. But I think this is where I change him. Isn't it? Oh no, this is where I look at stats. That's what I do for the rest of this video. It's like, oh crap, I need to leave soon. What can I do to waste about 20 seconds? I know, I'll look at all the stats. So yeah, I do. Um. Uh -huh, see, I'm gonna change it to white lock. And I think that's pretty much to the end of the episode. See you next time. Sorry, this audio, this commentary was really crap. This episode, but take care. Bye.